There are several instruments needed for a tonsillectomy. This is a Dennis Brown's forceps used to hold and retract the tonsil. This here is a Gwyn Evans dissector used to dissect the tonsil along its capsular plane. It has a toothed and a non-toothed end as shown. A pillar retractor is used to retract the anterior pillar mainly when securing hemostasis. To enable visualization during the surgery, a Boyle Davis mouth gag is used. It has an adjustable retractable blade as shown. To maintain the mouth gag in an optimal position, drafting bipod rods are used. Okay. An Eve's tonsillar snare is used to crush and snare the inferior pedicle of the tonsil when most of the tonsil has been dissected away. A fine non tooth forceps can be used for a number of purposes in a tonsillectomy. A curved scissors is conventionally used to begin the tonsillar dissection and to define the dissection plane. For suctioning, a Yanker suction tube is the suction tube of choice in a tonsillectomy. Okay. In case there is a need to remove the adenoid glands, a St. Clair Thompson's curette is used. After prepping the patient, the Boyle Davis mouth gag with an appropriately sized blade is applied. Retract the blade gently, taking care not to over retract so as to not cause any damage to the lips, buccal mucosa, and the TM joint. Always ensure adequate lubrication is applied to the lips. When satisfied with the positioning of the mouth gag, apply the traffin bipod rods onto the edge of the mouth gag blade like so using the appropriate hole or circle for optimal stability. Before starting the surgery, ensure adequate lighting is available. This is an endoscopic view of a tonsillectomy. There are many ways to do the surgery. The tonsil is retracted gently using the Dennis Brown's forceps. The surgeon in this case predominantly uses the curved scissors to not only define the dissection plane but also to do a significant part of the dissection.
When obvious blood vessels are encountered, the blood vessels are diathermized like so. Every now and then, suctioning needs to be done to ensure good visualization. Further dissection is done until only the inferior pedicle is left behind. Notice here that the Queen Evans dissector is used. When left with only the inferior pedicle, the eaves tonsillar snare is used to crush the pedicle and snare the tonsil away. After the tonsil is removed, hemostasis is secured with a combination of packing with tonsillar swabs, diathermy and even ligation.